Okay, welcome to part three of our super to-do list uh, GUI version, our to-do list ver GUI version. We've so far created a nice little TK enter GUI window with a nice title. Uh, we have a couple labels here. We have a text entry widget. We have eight buttons and a list box. Now we've added some default tasks uh, down here uh, just for testing purposes. So if I click add a task, now this isn't quite working yet, but it's just something we're using temporarily. So it's already got uh, a couple functions that will update our list box and so take whatever is in this list, this Python list, and put it into our list box. Okay, so in this lesson what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to delete all, which is very going to be very very simple. We're going to learn how to sort ascending, we're going to learn how to sort descending, choose random, and choose or, and print the number of tasks because these are kind of our easier functions. The add tasks a little bit more complicated um, and delete one task is, is a bit more complicated. So we'll save that for our last video. Uh, okay, so I'm going to exit that and let's get started. Okay, so delete all. So we go, we go down to our function. Now, you'll notice that, you know, as I mentioned, I think in the previous video, we've created a function called update the list box. Okay, so we're separating the list itself from the function that does the updating. And that doesn't make quite a lot of sense. But basically, when we're going to delete stuff, we don't need to worry about the list box itself. We're not deleting it from the list box per se. We're actually going to delete it from here, then update the list box. Okay, so delete all. So hopefully you've learned how to uh, empty a list. So what I'm going to do is, uh, for, well, first uh, I'm going to try, well, I'll tell you what, we'll do it this way. So I'm going to say clear the tasks list. And I'm going to say tasks. So to create, a, to empty a list, we just assign it to an empty value. Okay, so let's try that. Oh, so once I clear that, that task, then I need to update the list box. So update the list box. And that, so that, that function was update. You can see it up here. Update list box. Let's try it and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to do my add task. Okay, and then I'm going to delete all. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Strange. Nothing's happened. Okay, so I'll give you about three seconds to uh, think about why that's the case. Three, two, one. Okay, so if you said uh, this is a local variable, local list, uh, you are correct. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that that function, the task list, because we're changing it. If we're reading it, we don't need to worry about it, but because we're changing it, we need to globalize it. So since we are changing it, the list, needs to be global. So I'll say global tasks. Let's try it again. So add tasks, so we have some tasks here. Delete all, boom. Now if I add tasks, nothing happens because what I've done is I've deleted all the items on that list. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's move on to the next one. Sort ascending. Okay, so I'm going to go to that function, and hopefully you've already learned how to sort a list. If not, you just take the, the list name, um, and then you got to use the sort method. Tasks dot. Okay, so sort the list. So I'm going to go tasks dot sort. And then I'm going to update the list box again. Actually, I'm going to be lazy. I'm just going to copy this. Okay. So let's try it. Okay. So I'm going to add tasks. Call mom. Buy a guitar. These are not in alphabetical order, so it should be buy, call, and eat. So I'm going to sort, and you can see how it sorted it. Very easy. Easy peasy. 
Okay, sorting and descending. Okay, uh, so to sort descending, uh, first we sort the list ascending. So I'm just going to copy that. Then we need to reverse the list. So tasks.reverse, we we'll use the reverse method. And same thing, update the list box. So you notice that by making these functions, update the list box and clear the list box, we really just make our jobs much, 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 much easier. Okay, so we're manipulating the tasks list. So every time we're just taking whatever is in that list and adding it to our list box. So it just makes things super duper easy. Okay, so let's save that. Let's run it. And let's try that. So add task so we can see that. And then we're going to sort descending this time. So it should be E, C, or eat, call, and buy. So it is in descending order. Okay, moving right along. Okay, next one is choosing a random task. Okay, so again, you got to separate in your mind the fact that we're dealing with a list and the GUI part of it. Okay, so the actual like you know processing part versus the display part of it. Okay, so the uh, so input processing output. So right now we're worried about the processing part. And then the output part is the GUI stuff. So choosing a random. So we so to choose a random task. So I'm going to say task equals random dot choice tasks. So what this does is it chooses a random choice from the tasks list. Now the next part is we need to update the display label. Okay, so in our example, that's here. So to do that, we do label display, because that's what we called it. Text quote equals task. So whatever task here is chosen by the random function is going to be assigned to the label. So let's try that. Test so we can see everything. Choose random. Okay, so that's working quite well. Okay, now notice um, we up here at the very beginning we had imported the random function, so uh, that was already done for us. So if that wasn't done, you would have gotten an error that uh, random was uh, unrecognized. And then showing the number of tasks. Okay, so basically what we want to do is get the number of tasks. So to do that, so we say number of tasks equals the length of tasks. So the length of the list. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create and format the message to, to display. So I'm gonna say message equals number of tasks percent s if you're not sure what this means uh, you just need to review string formatting and it'll be different uh, you know possibly depending on your python version so we created the message and then we need to display the message and that's going to be the same thing here i'm just going to copy that well i'm going to copy that and then alter it a little bit so equals message so let's try that. Okay, so number of tasks. Well, actually, let's add tasks. So one, two, three, number of tasks. Number of tasks is three. Okay, so again, so we're basically taking, if you, again, if you did the command line version of this, because you're in my class, the you see how we're just taking the same concepts, but just adding them with the uh, GUI interactions and the, and the functions and the methods that apply to the GUI. So the, the processing part is still the same in the background, but rather than using a print statement and printing out all that information, or you know typing A to add a task, or you know, B to delete all the tasks, uh, we're using buttons. So you can 
you can see how the structure of the program has evolved quite a bit from uh, earlier programs we may have done. Okay, uh, that's that for that one. Uh, in the next video, we'll finish this up.